Hi there, I'm Marley and this is my Euro 2016 extract where we'll be recapping all things Euro 2016 on a timely basis, obviously not featuring Scotland. Wales were the first home nation to play at the tournament and this guy I'd keep an eye on, he's quite up and coming, Gareth Bale smashed in a free kick to give Wales the lead against Slovakia. Aye it was in the middle of the goal your dad might say but I'd like to see him hit a ball like that. Slovakia did equalise and threatened to spoil the occasion but Robson Canu made it too, Wales saw it through and Wales won the game. Yeah. In the same group, England were up next and... Hull. No laughing at the back. That's shocking. England dominated the game and finally got a breakthrough via a dire free kick. Dire is also how you could describe the Russian side which somehow managed to equalise in the 92nd minute and there wasn't a dry eye in the whole of Scotland. Mainly from laughing but it's nothing personal, that would have just been as funny if it was Portugal Russia had equalised against... Well, maybe not actually, but it's just a laugh, isn't it? Northern Ireland were up against Poland and like lightweights, they could only manage two shots and that was them done. Poland, on the other hand, were up at the bar all day as they had 18 shots, but they did finally get that elusive goal through Milik early in the second half and it just proved too much for Northern Ireland to deal with. Finally, the Republic of Ireland and Sweden fans were showing off the park that it is possible to enjoy this football tournament without throwing beer garden chairs at opposition supporters. There's reports that some Russian fans had turned up to their match with gum shields and fighting gloves. Ireland and Sweden fans on the other hand showed up with leprechaun hats and an ABBA playlist blasting from a boombox. On the park though, Houlihan scored this belter for Ireland early in the second half and just over 20 minutes later Ireland scored again into their own goal through Clark and more ABBA commenced in the Sweden end no doubt. The winner takes it all but that didn't happen here because it ended a draw so they both get a point each, that's how it works. There's been a few crackers scored in this tournament already and Payet didn't waste much time scoring this belter at the end of the very first match for France. And Luka Modric also scored a really nice goal, it was an amazing looping volley against Turkey which was too good to even recreate, I'll have you know. There's been some rather odd sightings so far in the tournament, none other than Germany manager Joachim Lowe going for the old scratch and sniff on global television. And he was at it again, picking his bum on global television. This guy is a serial offender when it comes to this sort of thing. He's also been caught in the past picking his nose and eating it on global... Ah, you get the point. Then again, he is a World Cup winning manager, so does he really care what people think of him? Italy's legendary goalkeeper Buffon was also caught running the full length of the pitch to celebrate by swinging on the crossbar in front of the Italian fans and then falling off of it. Probably just as weird as the last two was Harry Kane taking corners for England, which got Twitter into quite a frenzy. This guy Liam on Twitter pointed out the top three scorers in England, Harry Kane, Jamie Vardy and Jermaine Defoe, one was taking corners, one is on the bench and the other is at home watching the tournament. In fact that is actually weirder than the Germany manager touching his private bits during the match. And finally on the last of the match they won games Gary Lineker and Alan Shearer had a bit of dab banter on Twitter. Gary Lineker making fun of Alan Shearer's baldness and then Alan Shearer gets stuck into Gary Lineker's ears. Anyway that's all for today, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I've been Marley and I'll catch you later, bye.